Hey, Mom, I was thinking of coming home for Easter this year. What? You want to come back and stay home? But you always go to stay with Nemo's family for Easter. I know that's what usually happens, but it doesn't seem like it'll work out like that this year. He's been on a really long business trip overseas this past while, remember? And while he technically does have Easter off, it will probably be hard for him to come back here in time since so many people will be traveling for the holidays. We've already spoken to him about spending the holiday apart this time. He might still make it, but if he does, he'll be later than normal in any case. And what did his family say about that? Are they okay with it? Don't they want you to join them anyway? No, they said that's fine. I mean, there isn't much point in me going out there without Nemo, is there? And we've spent every Easter with them. So they said that we shouldn't worry too much about it this time around. Emma, be honest with me now. I don't like how this is sounding. You haven't been causing any trouble over there when you go stay with them, have you? You're not just making this up because they don't want you there anymore and you need to come here instead, right? No, of course that's not what this is about. Why wouldn't they want me to be there? His family are all really nice and we get along well. We've never had any problems before. Plus, I always help out as much as I can. Hmm. I wonder if that is really true. It doesn't sound like that to me. You've always been so laid back. I always wonder if you really are doing your part when you should be. I'm telling you that it's all fine. There are no problems between his family and mine. And Nemo's mom told us that we didn't need to make the effort to travel each year anyway. I mean, we've been spending both Easter and Christmas with his family, right? She was worried that I may be doing too much for them and not spending enough time with my own family. That sounds pretty strange to me. They're basically telling you straight out that they don't want you coming here anymore. You must have done something that they're not happy about. But they're just trying to tell you nicely to not come home for the holidays anymore. Why do you always have to look at things in such a negative way? They haven't said anything of the sorts. When I'm there, I spend lots of time with his mom. Just the two of us. Selena and I go out for coffee dates together and all the rest of it. We get along really well and even when I'm home, I often talk to her on the phone just to touch base on what's going on over there in Texas. Are you sure you're not just bothering her by calling all of the time? Maybe she just feels bad and doesn't know how to tell you that she doesn't want to talk to you. That's not it at all. Come on, why are you being like this? Selena and I even have the same interest in DIY crafts and making things ourselves from scratch. So because of that, we always have something to talk about. There's a lot of common ground between us. Well, if you say it's all fine, I guess I will have to take your word for it. Just as long as you're not causing trouble, then it's all right. But even if you come back here, there really isn't anything we can do for you here. I'm not going home because I want you guys to do anything for me. If anything, I'll be happy to help out while I'm staying there. I want Diana to be able to take a little bit of a break, at least while I'm there for the holidays. What do you mean by that? Why do you want Diana to take a break? Well, she has been living with you, hasn't she? It hasn't even been a year since her and David got married. And I know she's been doing a lot around the house while she's been living at home. I thought it would be nice if she could get a rest, at least while I'm back home as well. It's better if she does things instead of you. She's much better at everything. You would just get in the way. I'm not going to get in the way. You're being very critical of me right now, you know? All I'm saying is that I would like to help her out when I can. Anyway, more importantly, how is it with everyone living there together? Is it going well? It's been about six months at this point, right? There's nothing for you to be worried about. Everything is going as well as it could be. Unlike you... Diana listens to what she's told and does everything as it should be done. You haven't changed at all, have you, Mom? You still say things that don't need to be said. Well, no matter, as long as you're treating her fairly, that's all that matters. Of course I am. How else would I be treating her? But are you really going to be coming back home for Easter? People in the neighborhood will think that something strange is going on. Why would you think that? What's so strange about me coming home for Easter? Well, you left home and moved away and got married, right? And now you're coming home all by yourself. They might start thinking that you got divorced and any other number of things. I don't want there to be a bunch of weird rumors swirling about. No one is going to think anything like that. You worry too much. No one cares what's going on in our family. And it's none of their business anyway. They can think whatever they want. I really don't care either way. 
Remember that this isn't the city. We live in the countryside. And people are way nosier about what goes on in each house. Not much happens here. So even the smallest thing can be enough for people to start gossiping and starting rumors. Even if they're not true. And if they get around enough, people will start to believe it. Is it really okay for you to come home without Nemo this time? You always come together whenever you come visit me. It's really starting to sound like you just don't want me to come back to visit at all. Nemo can take care of himself and he might not even be back anyway. Do you just want me to spend Easter break on my own at home? Is it really that annoying for you when I come to visit? No, of course, that's not it at all. I was just asking to make sure that everything would be okay. Anyway, I got it. You're coming home soon. I'll tell Diana and David that you will be here as well. Okay, thanks for that. I'll text you again when the date gets closer. Hey mom, I just got to the store. You wanted me to get some paper towels, some mincemeat, and then some lettuce, right? Did you need anything else? Did I forget something? Oh, they have chicken on special as well. Should I get some of that too? We don't need anything else. There's still food left over from yesterday as well. So we need to finish that before we buy anything we don't need. We shouldn't be wasting any money. But it's the holidays. Buying something extra should be okay. It doesn't matter if it's the holidays. It's just Easter anyway. Okay, whatever you say. But what about Diana? Does she want any? Listen, if you want to cook something with it, then go ahead and buy it. No one is stopping you from doing that. But we're fine with what we have here. Okay, got it. I won't buy any. Then I'll just uh, get what you asked me to buy. I just thought I would mention it because there were some good specials. Oh, by the way, I didn't want to ask you this before while I was in the house, but did I do something to upset Diana? What do you mean by that? I don't know. She seems to be acting kind of strangely towards me. She's pretty formal and cold. I didn't expect her to be like this. Even if I try to talk to her, she barely responds. And if we meet in the hallway, she won't even look me in the eye. And when I offer to help her with some of the housework, she just tells me that she doesn't need any help and stops me. Listen, if I tell you, will you promise not to tell her that you heard this from me? It turns out that Diana doesn't really like you all that much, Emma. I guess that's why she's acting like that. She's not being outwardly rude, of course but she probably hopes that you get the message and stop trying to talk to her. What? Really? Why would she not like me though? I've only met her at the wedding and then once last year at New Year's. I think two times is enough for someone to know whether they like someone or not. Well, it's enough, sure, but I don't remember even talking to her that much. I wonder if I said something rude to her by accident. It's not that rare for someone to say something rude without realizing it hurts the other person. And you are often pretty clueless about that sort of thing. You probably said something to offend her without even realizing it. Did you ask her what the reason is? I wasn't about to ask her the details of it. She told me that she doesn't like you and you're my daughter. It's not exactly something that I wanted to keep talking about, you know? I guess that makes sense. Is that why she wouldn't eat dinner with us? I guess she doesn't even want to be in the same room as me. That's probably it. Yeah, sorry that I didn't tell you beforehand but I didn't really know what I was supposed to tell you or how. It's kind of an awkward situation. So that's why you seemed like you really didn't want me coming home for Easter? When I told you that I was planning on it, I feel bad that I came back and was putting everybody out. I was planning on staying for a week, but I think it would be better for everyone if I just went home early. But you already made it all the way here. So maybe it's still better for you to just stay as you planned? And I don't know exactly how to word this, but Diana is the one who doesn't like you, right? So it's only coming from her. It's not like you have a problem with her as well. I think it's fine if you just pretend that you don't notice anything and don't worry about what she does. It's not like the two of you really see each other very often anyway. You don't need to go out of your way to please her. I get what you mean, but it's pretty hard to just sit around knowing that someone there doesn't like you. I can't really pretend that I don't know. Sorry about that. Maybe I was wrong to mention it to you. No, it's fine. It's better this way. It'll just make things awkward for everyone if I'm around. Besides, she's the one who lives there now. I moved out and I'm only coming back for a visit. I don't want her to feel like she can't eat with everyone like she usually does just because I'm here. Plus, she's doing a lot to help out you both. 
You and David as well. I'm very thankful that she's doing that, so I don't want to cause her any trouble or discomfort, so it's fine. I'll just leave tomorrow around noon. Okay, if you're all right with that, then go ahead. It seems a shame to leave so soon, though. Next time you decide to come back, it might be better if you find a hotel to stay in. You know, like you do when you come back with Nemo. It might be better for everyone involved. Yeah, that's probably the best thing to do. Anyway, I'll finish up at the shops and come back soon. Okay, see you in a little bit. Hi, Diana. You're not at the house right now, are you? I was trying to find you, but you weren't anywhere. No, I'm not at home right now. I went out a little bit ago. Okay, well, that's fine. But I'm leaving today just after noon, so I wanted to let you know. Thanks for all you've done the last three days. I planned on helping you out while I was here, but you ended up just doing everything yourself. Don't worry about it at all. It's not really worth mentioning. Oh, and by the way, you weren't able to eat dinner with us because I was around, right? Sorry about that. I must have put you out quite a bit. No, that's not it at all. It's always the case that I eat dinner after everyone else is done. It's the rule that the wife does that. You didn't put me out at all. What? What are you talking about? You eat dinner when everyone else is done. You say this is a normal thing? That's a normal thing to do at your house as well, isn't it? I heard from Vivian that it's something that everyone in your family does. What the hell are you talking about? There's no rule like that. There never has been. Wait, so the reason you didn't eat dinner with us wasn't because I was there? No, of course not. I always eat after everyone, even when you're not around. It has nothing to do with you being here. What do you mean by always? You mean that you eat alone every day? What about David? Does he not say anything about this? He said that he just wants me to do as Vivian says while we're living here. I can't believe this. He's going along with my mom when she's bullying you. You should leave here as soon as you can. You don't want to be around these people who treat you like that. You should leave with me, Diana. How about it? Is that really all right? I heard that you hated me. I have never said a single word like that about you. Did you also hear that from my mom? Yes, that's what she said. Well, trust me when I tell you I don't hate you. I'm very grateful to you for all your help that you've been to mom. But she said the same thing about me to you, actually. She told me that you don't eat with us because I'm around and you feel uncomfortable with me being around. I'm so sorry about my family. I didn't realize they were acting like this. Don't blame yourself for that. I also shouldn't have just believed everything that Vivian told me. If you hadn't messaged me just now, I probably would have just continued to put up with everything. I'm really sorry. I was so slow to realize what's going on. But it's okay. You don't need to put up with them anymore. Let's get out of here. Will you tell me what happened since you moved in here? Emma, where are you right now? You told me that you were going to leave just after midday. Don't tell me that you just ran off without saying anything. Yeah, I already left. What? Why would you do that? I wanted to at least be able to see you off. And I also have some delicious grapes that I wanted to give you as well. Someone I know just gave them to me from their own vineyard. You would really love them. They're delicious. If you're not that far away yet, why not come back here once and you can pick them up? I'm not coming back. And neither is Diana. Diana? What does Diana have to do with anything? Diana's going to be staying with me for a while, so she isn't going to be coming back. What? Why would that be? Hold on. Are the two of you together right now? Yeah, we are. I didn't want to leave her in a house where her mother-in-law is bullying her, so I took her with me when I left. What do you mean by a mother-in-law who bullies her? What is that supposed to even mean? Are you talking about me? Of course I'm talking about you, and there's no point in playing dumb right now. Diana told me everything about the way you've been treating her, and I know that the reason she wasn't talking to me is because you told her that I hated her and that she should leave me alone. Plus, you always make her eat alone after everyone else does? What is even up with that? Why would you treat her that way after she moved in with you to help you out around the house so much? Emma, you're just being tricked by Diana right now. I never said anything like that at all. She's just trying to set me up. And why would she try and do that? What would be the point? I think she must be trying to get her hands on the house. Nobody would go out of their way for that place. It's old and in the middle of nowhere. The place that David and Diana were living before they moved in with you to help would have been way more valuable than that house. In any case, 
Just don't believe everything that she tells you. There isn't any proof that I've been treating her badly. And you're just going to believe a stranger instead of your own mother? That's so cruel of you. You're the one who's being cruel, and you didn't want me to come back. So you told me that Diana hates me, so I would leave even sooner as well. You knew that I would find out eventually and get angry at you, right? I'm telling you that I had no idea what you're talking about. Yeah? Well, when I pressed David enough, he told me everything as well. He said that he tried to stop you at first, but then you would start to harass him as well. You got angry at him for taking Diana's side instead of yours, and even started bothering him at work, didn't you? I didn't do anything like that. He's just been tricked by Diana as well. And the two of them are trying to get me out of the house. Just please stop it with these stupid lies already. I can't believe anything that you say anymore. I saw all your text exchanges that you have with Diana. You're always ordering her around and telling her what to do. It makes me sick seeing my mom talk to people like that. Is it really fun for you to treat someone like that? She came here to live with you since you're all alone after dad died. And this is how you treat her? How could a thought even come into your head? Why are you believing everything that she tells you? I'm the one who's having a hard time here. So why are you taking her side in this? Because you've been treating her like a servant this whole time. I might not have been there to witness it firsthand, but looking at this whole situation and then texts that you've sent her, I can see what she's saying is right. And because of that, I don't want to have anything more to do with you. What? Why? What are you talking about? You told me that Diana hates me, remember? And then you told her the same thing. You lied to both of us, just to keep secret the fact that you've been bullying her. I can't believe that my own mother is the kind of person who treats others in this way. And not only that, you also tried to distance Diana from other people as well. I don't want anything to do with someone like that. I won't be sending you any more of the money that I have been up until now. What? But that's really going too far over this, don't you think? I'm the one who raised you your whole life. I know that, and I'm very grateful for it. But now I've seen how you've been treating others. I don't want to be sending you any more support. I see. So if Diana's leaving and not coming back, I suppose she's going to get a divorce from David. Fine. She can do what she wants. I still have David here with me. No, he also said that he's going to leave. It looks like he's finally plucked up the nerve to cut ties with you. And if you plan on trying to bother him at work, or bother me or Diana as well for that matter, then I will talk to the police and see what we can do about getting a restraining order against you. David is a nice boy. I know that if I ask him, he will never just abandon me like that. That's where you're wrong. It might have taken him a while, but he finally decided to take Diana's side and not yours. We won't convince him otherwise now. I didn't know what will happen between the two of them from now on, but at the very least, David and I have decided not to deal with you anymore. Oh, it seems like he's reached out to you now. Did you get a text from him? I did. It's just as you said. He plans on cutting ties with me. That can't happen. I won't accept this. It won't matter if you accept it or not. I won't change anything because this is something we've chosen to do. Emma, I'm sorry. So you finally admit that you were bullying Diana then? No, I don't. That's not what was happening. I just wanted Diana to be a wonderful wife. So I was just trying to teach her as a mother-in-law. And I guess I just went a little overboard and was too strict. So by verbally abusing her, making her do everything around the house, and then making her eat alone after everyone else each day, would have made her a wonderful wife? That's the first I've ever heard of anything like that. You never did anything like that back when Grandma was still alive. And I know she didn't tell you this. Where did you even get this stupid idea from? I just saw it written somewhere on the internet. Oh, so you just believe everything that's written online? In that case, I also found something online I want to try out. How about that? It said that being alone in their old age is something that really suits mother-in-laws who think they can bully people around. That's why from now on I won't be sending you any more money and we won't be meeting each other ever again. I read that on the internet, so I'm doing the same thing as you. So there shouldn't be any complaints, should there? Emma, I get your point already. I'm sorry. I see that I shouldn't have done that. I'm not the person you should be apologizing to. Well, I apologize to Diana as well. So please forgive me. Somehow I won't do anything like this again. I swear. That's great to hear. No one else will have to deal with that from you. You have a long time to reflect on your actions as well. What is that supposed to mean? You're not going to forgive me? 
No, I told you that I'm cutting ties with you and I don't plan on forgiving you either. That's how strongly I feel about what you did. Why does that have to happen though? I told you that I'll apologize to Diana and I admitted that what I was doing was wrong. Just because you apologized for something that you did doesn't mean it goes away and people need to forgive you. If it was just that easy, there'd be no need for police. You lazed around while forcing your daughter-in-law to do everything and then lied to your family so that you didn't get caught. Why would I want to stay in contact with someone like that? Now, just as you wanted, I won't be coming back anymore. I don't want to see your face again. Since that conversation, my mom tried countless times to call me and text me, but I ignored everything. She did the same with David. And when he got home to get his things to take away, she tried to stop him, but with no success. He just took his things and walked out without looking back. Once mom stopped getting financial support from both me and David, she has since completely stopped going out of the house. She's always been someone who cared a lot about what people think of her. So she probably didn't want anyone in town to find out what happened to protect her own reputation. Even now, she still tries to get in touch with me and David, but both of us just ignore her, at least the text from her, letting us know that she's alive and that's good enough for me. I just hope that from now on, she can keep to herself and live quietly without causing trouble for anybody. Diana lived with me for a while while after the incident, but in the end, decided to try and make things work once more with David and moved in with him in a new place. At first, I didn't want to forgive David either for not taking Diana's side and defending her against our mom. But when I think about it, he's always been quite timid ever since we were kids. And on top of that, he always had a tendency to go along with what she said, no matter what it was. I can kind of understand him and Diana seems to as well. So what they do with their relationship is up to them and I'm gonna stay out of it. Diana decided that since he chose to cut ties with our mom, that she would give him another chance and that's up to her. Although, to be honest, it seems to me that someone like her is wasted on my brother. I'm glad that she gave him another chance and I hope they're able to work everything out between them and be happy. But I'll make sure to be there for her if she's ever in trouble again and needs my help. I know there's only so much that's in my power to do, but if I'm able, I'll do it.